privileges. And uh, number 15 is Representative Marcy Theodoro. Okay, uh, the Honorable thank, Theodoro, thank Theodoro you, is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Initially, originally, my questions are directed to Chairman Iqbal. However, in his uh, in his absence, uh, may I respectfully direct my question to the chair of the office uh, for the president uh, office of the presidential advisor on the peace process. But before I proceed, Mr. Be, chairman, uh, before the, the honourable Theodora would proceed with uh, his line of questioning, if I may ask uh, the uh, guests uh, the presence of honourable. Uh, Kam uh, Al Kamlian, if he is representing BTC or he is representing MILF, may I be clarified of that? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I was requested by Chair Iqbal to convey his uh, apology to this body for not being able to attend today, but he assured this uh, honorable body that he will be attending tomorrow. Uh, that's my role here, uh, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. So you're not going to answer questions that will be raised uh, to the chair of the BTC. So uh, thank you. Uh, can the Honorable uh, Theodore proceed with the question? Uh, Mr. Chairman, in, 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 in light of that uh, statement uh, of the representative of the honorable or oh, the chairman chairman iqbal may be allowed uh, on the second round that uh, a reservation be made so that i can uh, post my question uh, directly to the to honorable uh, 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 to chairman iqbal rather but the with due respect to the honorable theodora there was a prior uh, ruling uh, uh, ground rules that based on the ground rules we have to finish the first listing that we have met, made last hearing and the second uh, to, to question is that we have to listen based on on on, on if you are going to to be listed on the on the, on the second uh, second listing I, so, I, I will accede to the to the uh, uh, observation of the chair and the, on, on the earlier ruling of the chair and I will just take my chance uh, uh, in the next uh, hearing so that Thank I could afford the opportunity uh, to, to post my questions to so, uh, Chairman, Chairman Iqbal. Uh, kay Secretary Deles, magandang hapon po. Uh, nabasa po natin yung uh, uh, Senate uh, Summary of Investigation at na sa huling item po nito, sinasabi na ang kapayapaan ay posible lamang kung mayroong uh, uh, hustisya. At pinupuro rin na ang ating administrasyon sa kasalukuyan ay uh, inilagay sa centerpiece yung kapayapaan. We put primacy uh, importance uh, for peace in order for us to attain not only development for the area of Mindanao but, but consequently for the whole uh, for the whole country uh, uh, also in the BOI uh, investigation in the findings uh, one of the first uh, recommendation there is that we should continue with the investigation uh, relating to the Mama Sapano uh, incident upang sa ganon matukoy po natin kung sino po ang mga liable, uh, liable not only on the part of the government agencies but also with the IMI, MILF at uh, iba pa hong uh, individual, uh, ito man ay uh, privado o may kaugnayan sa, sa, sa gobyerno. At alam ko po, uh, marami po sa mamamaya natin uh, na naghihintay po ng hustisyang, hustisyang ito. At alam po natin na mayroong uh, kasalukuyang pong DOJ investigation na sinasagawa. Ito ay hinihintay natin upang uh, malaman natin kung uh, who are the people uh, uh, who might be liable uh, with this uh, incident. Uh, upang sa ganun, hustisya doon sa apat na, pong, apat na sub uh, uh, troopers natin ay uh, ma mangyari o magawa. Uh, uh, can you, uh, pwede nyo po bang mapaliwanag sa ngayon kung ano nahuwa ang status nitong uh, 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 rekomendasyon na to o meron na po ba tayong mga uh, 
uh, uh, pwedeng may file na kaso o o hinihintay pa rin po natin itong uh, DOJ uh, findings o at least uh, meron na pa kayo mga initial findings along this line um, Mr. Chair <coughs> uh, ta tama ho yung sinabi nyo na ang ating pagtingin sa kapayapaan ay dapat nakabase sa uh, katarungan we have always said it has to be a just peace uh, and with regard uh, mamasapa no Uh, ta talaga ho, lalo-lalo na doon sa mga biktima, uh, ay dapat talaga uh, magpatuloy ang paghahanap ng hustisya. Uh, with regard this matter, Your Honor, uh, the DOJ is the, uh, is the designated agency. It is the one that has the power. It is the one that uh, has invest both investigative and prose prose uh, prosecutorial power. So talaga ho sila ho yung nag-case build up. At uh, ang OPA po ay walang uh, kapangyarihan uh, with regard this. So, with that, uh, with that answer, uh, Secretary, there is, you are uh, admitting that there is an ongoing investigation on the matter. Uh, Correct. Yun ho ang huling uh, uh, sinare ho rin sa amin ni Secretary of Justice because we are also always uh, following up Uh, uh, particular with both administrative but more particularly the criminal cases and they have said that they are still, do, still doing continuing uh, case build up. We know that they had um, actual investigation on the field na sila ho yung gumawa niyan with the proper uh, uh, forensic capacities uh, and so uh, we are, we continue to await uh, your honor the developments uh, from the Department of Justice. You have mentioned earlier that you had uh, your briefing with the security cluster yesterday, uh, Secretary Deles, right? And in that uh, briefing, uh, is there a date or a deadline that we have set so that uh, we can expect a, 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 an outcome of such in order for those liable to be subject to, judi to the judicial process, Secretary uh, Deles? Uh, Your Honor, the, the meeting yesterday, the The cases on Mama Sapano was not on the agenda. I had, I had mentioned about the development projects because uh, one of the items on the agenda was uh, exactly the operations now ongoing in Maguindanao. Uh, but uh, since uh, Secretary of Justice was there, uh, she, she had also mentioned that, that uh, uh, this was still ongoing, Your Honor. In light of that answer, uh, Mr. Chairman, I think it is appropriate and but proper if we could uh, uh, possibly send an invitation to the Secretary of Justice to appear before this uh, committee in order to shed light on that uh, uh, matter as explained by Secretary Dellis that uh, she is in opposition to, to, uh, to uh, concretely uh, or directly, uh, squarely uh, reply to that uh, query of this representation. Uh, Mr. Chairman, is that uh, uh, an affirmative uh, Yes, reply? it's an affirmative uh, that we are going to invite the Honorable Secretary de Lima uh, on the next hearing. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Chairman. Uh, to continue, Secretary uh, Deles, the incident in Mapa Sapano uh, provided us with the problem or question of congruence in perspective. As uh, in the stated by Chairman Iqbal in the uh, Senate uh, hearing that he has no absolute uh, control of the forces of the MIL in the in the ground, but he simply had uh, command uh, command uh, control. Uh, peace is necessary for develop for development, and we should all work for for this. For peace, and we see BBL as our uh, as our opportunity to achieve peace in uh, in Mindanao. Pero, but as a representative coming from Luzon or from Metro Manila, Mr. Chairman, Secretary Delis is is one of my is a constituent of mine in my in my district. I think Secretary Delis, we need to build uh, we need confidence building measures in order for Philippine government as well as the public to see the goodwill of the dear, particularly that of MILF in the in the area. At sinasabi nila, 
may problema pa tayo sa BIF, FF, habang sa uh, Moro Islamic Freedom Fighters na walang control ang uh, ang uh, ang MILF, um, MILF. Uh, do we have co uh, concrete plans of action on how we could build trust and confidence uh, in the public para masabi natin na 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 ang solusyon nga na pinipresenta natin yung bangsa uh, moro basic law ay ito nga yung yung kasagutan kasi pinapakita sa mga masapa no incident lalo na with the with the missing counter as they have uh, uh, as they have uh, claimed that uh, MILF has no control in the in the area and we are negotiating uh, with with their group how can we address uh, other considerations or or other concerns of other groups if they would say eventually after the passage if ever it will be passed uh, into law the BBL uh, that uh, they will join and they will uh, they will cooperate they will participate uh, I remind the Honorable Jodoro that uh, his time has already been consumed uh, and uh, if you could uh, please uh, wind uh, up the question. Thank you Mr. Chairman. Kung kung uh, pakiramdam ng ibang elemento o ibang grupo sa Mindanao ay hindi hindi na-address yung kanilang mga pangangailangan at kalagayan, Secretary Deres, would you care to reply on that statement? Um, yes, Your Honor. Uh, yes, the, the reality is that MILF is not the only armed group in the area, uh, but it is also true that it is the largest, most organized uh, group that has been fighting government uh, very deliberately and that it is the peace process uh, with the negotiations and the agreements that have been signed, notably the framework agreement and the comprehensive agreement uh, that puts us on the track of bringing this uh, particular armed conflict with the largest, most organized opposition group uh, to an end uh, with, a pol with a negotiated political settlement, which includes the enactment of the Bangsamoro Basic Law. Uh, Yung, yung kung, uh, uh, agreements already, uh, the agreements that have been signed already with the MILF has put a ceasefire in place, Your Honor, and that, we, the, that ceasefire has, has been uh, respected. It has been observed for, for three years. Uh, that, that is the record of the, uh, of the AFP and our CCCH, the joint CCCH, that there has been no armed um, clashes between government and the MILF until this uh, incident. And in that regard, Quineto uh, Nahoni, General uh, Galvez, the efforts that are being taken to further strengthen the ceasefire mechanisms. But that is the process. So there will be also a decommissioning, graduated and phased decommissioning uh, within the context of a whole normalization program. So the what is envisioned is that when the Pangsamoro is put into place following, enact, uh, following the enactment of the law and a plebiscite and a short transition period that in 2016 uh, the new political entity will be put into place and there will be democratic elections. Uh, Your Honor, in 2016, should the law be passed and ratified and having undergone this process, in 2016, the Bangsamoro will be government, Your Honor. Uh, it will not be MILF that will govern that area. Any MILF that will be part of that government would have undergone the democratic electoral process, would have presented themselves to the people and be elected. And the Bangsamoro government will have all of those powers uh, to be able to address this. Certainly, the issue of lawlessness will continue to be there. But we can say that the decommissioning of the largest, most organized group would have happened, that this group would be partners starting from now in inter, uh, interdicting uh, lawless elements in the area. It will continue to be a cha challenge that will involve the Bangsamoro, all local governments, and the national offices. Uh, but the putting into place the Bangsamoro, which the plebiscite should prove embodies the aspirations of the people for self-governance as mandated also by the Constitution would address a major grievance in the area, Your Honor. And that uh, what 
the, what is, will happen here is that democratic institutions will be put into place. And while this will not automatically and Im immediately resolve all lawless problems, the fact of a stronger democratic government in place, democratically elected with an autonomous government that is compliant with the Constitution, is that you would have in place the capacity for ensuring a shared security and shared prosperity in the area, Your Honor. Thank, thank you for that reply, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Congressman Tiduro. And uh, the next uh, uh, person to ask question is uh, Congresswoman uh, Suarez, Aleta Suarez. Congresswoman uh, Aleta Suarez. Hola. Okay, uh, next, Congressman uh, Gas Tambuting. You may have the floor. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Mr. Chair. Um, we've, uh, we've seen the uh, BOI and the uh, Senate report, and very clear that there are a lot of similarities, but there are also basic differences. If you will look at uh, the BOI report, and the, to me, one of the stark difference is the, uh, in the uh, BO, Board of Inquiry report, it seems that they have left out the discussion about actual crimes which happened, the murder of troops. The BOI gave little mention to the criminal liability of the ones who committed the crime. Though it was mentioned, the criminal liability of those who killed our forces is given more focus in the Senate report. It seems that the BOI report focused on the operational faults of Oplan Exodus and also the uh, faults of the chain of command. Though this is important, I believe that the BOI report should also be, have given equal importance to the crimes committed against our soldiers. My question is, why is the lack of importance given to the actual crimes committed? Mr. Chair, Your Honor. Sir, our mandate is to establish the facts. We are just a fact-finding body, and we should not get involved in the conclusions of law. And that's the reason why we avoided mentioning about criminal liability. I think we have uh, accomplished our mandate, that is to establish the fact and avoid any conclusion of law. Um, is it also possible that the PFP is still doing uh, some investigation as to the actual crime of murder which happened? Your Honor, our, investigation Your Honor, our field unit in ARMM is working closely with the National Bureau of Investigation. And we have already identified several personalities who were involved in the particular incident. And uh, we're still, uh, they are still uh, uh, collecting uh, pieces of evidence to strengthen the case against these uh, personalities, Your Honor. Second. Um, discrepancy or difference which I noticed is the uh, involvement of U.S. intervention. In the Senate report, it says that uh, Americans were part of the planning and implementation of Oakland Exodus. It appears that a member of the U.S. forces were, was even giving an order to one of the of, to one of, their own, of our own generals when to fire artillery. For the BOI, it said that uh, the U.S. intervention was limited only to intelligence and to medical requirements. What do you have to say to this, sir? Mr. Chair, Your Honor, the Senate can actually compel the uh, resource speakers 
to divulge information during an executive session, and most of those information were provided during the executive session. And unfortunately, the BOI does not have that privilege or honor. So how were you able to uh, conclude your report, uh, considering that uh, even in your report it says limited resources? So yes, how, how did you do it? Based on the statements of some of the uh, uh, sub members, sub officers who were involved in the actual operation, Your Honor, we were able to gather those information about the involvement of the Americans. Hindi po ba ho kayo humingi ng uh, records sa uh, Senado para po uh, matulungan ang inyong uh, uh, pagkuha po ng mga report? Your Honor, nauna po kaming uh, gumawa po ng uh, report. Nakahingi po kami ng mga transcript po pero hindi po kasama yung sa executive session, Your Honor. Okay. Ngayon, uh, ang susunod na katanungan ko po ay sa ating um, okay, uh, Professor uh, Miriam uh, Ferrer, ang uh, head po ng uh, peace process, ang negotiating panel for the government. Um, nakita ko po, habang nainatay ko po yung oras ko, nagpapasa po ako ng, uh, ng dyaryo sa cellphone ko. At uh, nakita ko po na nandito po, sinabi niyo po na lumabas today, that uh, you were quoted by, as he said, Peace Panel Head warns of a very bloody war. Yung po headlines. At sinasabi nyo na kung ito ay hindi mapapasa, ay mas dadanak po ang dugo. Tama po ba yan? Wala po akong ganun sinabi na dadanak ng dugo. Ano po ibig po sabihin nun? Hindi ko po sinabi yung ganun pong expression. I think I was replying to a question in English and I replied in English, sir. Okay, so na yun po ay, uh, yun po ay, uh, pag sinabi nyo po there will be a very bloody war, uh, ito po ba ay uh, nakuha nyo at ito po yung sinabi po sa inyo at ito yung impression nyo nung nakikipag-negotiate po tayo? Bakit po nyo po sinabi po ito? Uh, that the statement was made in response to a question in our press conference yesterday uh, with regard to... Uh, the uh, how we see uh, the scenarios emerging depending on uh, developments on the peace process and I was making reference to a global context where uh, we can anticipate uh, that kind of uh, radicalization taking place uh, uh, within that uh, the global threats that we face now and I was referring to the possibility that, pre, uh, for, uh, that future groups that may arise will no longer be in the nature of the nationalist or ethno-nationalist movements that we saw in the 1970s as exemplified by the Moro National Liberation Front and the Moro Islamic Liberation Front. What we can anticipate happening in the 21st century, in this century, is the rise of religion-based ideological radical groups and I was referring to the bloody history of religious wars in the course of human civilization where the longest and most violent wars were waged in the history of human civilization that were largely founded on conflicts uh, relating to religion. That was the context of the statement that I made. I understand, of course, that headlines have a way of uh, projecting a different angle and uh, taken out of context in which the question was raised and in which the answer was also made, Your Honor. Eh, paano po, for example, katulad ng BIF ay di naman huyang kaisama sa peace process? po ang BIFF ay nananawagan na magkaroon ng Islamic State at wala po tayong basis para makapag-negotiate sa kanila kaugnay ng pagtatayo ng Islamic State. Ang malaki pong diferensya dito sa ating peace agreement sa MILF ay patungkol doon sa pagtatayo ng isang secular government na naaayon din sa sinabi sa ating konstitusyon. Ito nga po yung pagtatayo ng isang autonomous region dito sa Muslim Mindanao. Congressman Tambunting, you are time to stop. You have one question, last question. Well, maraming maraming salamat, uh, Mr. Chair. At uh, ah, meron pa ako isa pa. Um, ko po kay General uh, uh, Espina. Alam po ninyo, um, 
paano po ba ang uh, chain of command no? yung issue po ng chain of command alam naman po natin na si General Purisima ay suspendido at uh, dapat po kayo po yun hindi rin po alam ng Secretary Rojas yung operation uh, so lumalabas ang operasyon ay uh, null and void kung titingnan natin dahil uh, kayo po hindi nyo po alam hindi po alam ni Secretary Rojas at ang nakakaalam ay si General Purisima na suspendido at uh, inutos po niyan kay uh, General uh, uh, Napeñas. Uh, how does uh, the chain of command come into play now, considering that it was given by someone who wasn't even supposed to be in the meeting? Yung pong particular, <coughs> yung pong particular operation at, hello. A chain of command Nagkumpisa po kayo na Penyas, yung okay. lehiti mo, and down. Kasi, suspendido si General Purisima eh. So, hala siya authority. Ako ho, hindi sinabihan. So, how could it be? So, in this particular uh, operation, it's na Penyas down. Yun ang chain of command dito. Hindi ho po pwedeng umabot kay sekretary kahit to, ano, Uh, kung nalaman ko, di ako na yon. I take charge okay. of everything. I take command and control. Eh, hindi ko naman napapayagan na ganyan yan. Kasi major operation ho ito eh. Pupunta ako doon sa lugar. And I'll see to it that uh, EFP is informed. And I will monitor that personally, physically. You know, so, ano? so, so lumalabas po na si General Napenas, it starts with General Napenas now. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But uh, alam naman po natin wala na... na... Wala na iba eh. The chain of command in the PNP starts with me, ho eh. Down. I didn't know it, so wala. Wala na pa ho. Si, si John Purisima suspended. Si CNDC starter from functioning. So wala ho. So it's the penis na and down. Yun po, sir. Ngayon, um, kung uh, meron pong sasabing conversation ang ating mga presidente with... Uh, with uh, General Police pa tsaka ni General Napeñas na sinamin naman po niya na meron, ano po niya na magiging ano niya? Kasi where did he get his orders now? That is the uh, last question. Yes, it is. Congressman, please answer the question. Hindi ho, eh. Ang, uh, you know, the President can, ang um, inaano naman nun ng Presidente, kung ninyo si Marwan. Opo. Kasi ho, international terrorism, wanted yan, etc. We are the ones who know the details. Kami ho ang nag-aaral nung lahat ng military operations na to eh. Opo. It is all up to us to carry out. Kasi everybody, wala naman ho siguro ang lehitimong government official na sasabihin, huwag niyong kunin si Marwan. Hindi naman po pwede yun. So, it is the intent of the President that Marwan be taken. All the operational details lies with us na ho eh. We're the ones who are educated in operations, in battles, etc. Pagka ho ganyan, kami na ho yung dapat na accountable dyan, kami na po yung responsable dyan, whatever happens to our men. Yun po. Ni, ni si Secretary po, hindi dapat maging responsable dyan. It's only up to me. Kung ako ho na-informahan, apo. It's only up to me. Kahit ito na-informahan, pagpalagay nyo na, eh ako ang commander on the ground eh. So ako lahat na sasagot niyan. And now, no, nobody higher than me. Yun know, yun know, you know, ang tamang uh, perspective dito. Kasi ako kami yung operating eh. Thank you very much, yes, General. Sir. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you.